Hi, welcome to my channel. This video will introduce you to some of the basic commands used in Linux systems. So generally, people are not that open to use Linux systems when using for the first time as compared to other systems like a Windows or a Mac. Because in other systems, you will get a GUI based operations. So as the code goes, why let Microsoft give you Windows while Linux can give you a house? So if you really explore the options which you have in Linux systems, its capabilities are numerous and as you go in to learn the Linux systems, people tend to move more into Linux systems than being using a Microsoft or a Mac. Let's move forward and see what are the some basic commands which you can run on a Linux systems. So let's start our train with file system commands. So the first command is pwd. What it does is it shows our current working directory or present working directory. So you can see currently I am at home with Mera docs. Next command is to list the files in this particular directory. That is ls. So you can see these are the files present in this particular directory. You can also use l-ltrh to have a detailed description of the files present. Have the permission of the file, the owner of the file, the group to which the owner belongs, the size of the file and the timestamp on which the file was created, then the file name. Normally in Linux, we'll have the extension for each file showing the category of the file. The next command I'm going to show is touch. What it does is it creates an empty file. So for example, I'm creating my file. And now if I give ls-ltrh, you can see that file of zero size is created. This command is to create a directory that is mkdir. So I am creating a directory named test. So when I give ls-ltrh, you can see the directory is shown with a D in its permissions. I can move to that particular directory using change directory command that is cd. So you can confirm using pwd that your present working directory is test. Now the next command is to copy a file. For Linux systems, we use cp. So for example, if I want to copy a file in the path homevmra docs to this newly created directory, that is homevmra docs test, I can simply give cp the source and the destination. So if I give ls-ltrh, we can see that file is copied to this present path. We can also move a file from one path to another by using mv. So if I want to move a file from home MRA docs to my present directory, instead of putting the whole path of my present directory, I can simply put a dot. The same applies for copy command also. So if I give ls-ltrh, you can see that file has been moved from my previous path. To remove a file Linux, we used rm command. So if I want to remove this file, I'll just give rm and the file name. So it'll ask if I want to remove the regular file. And I say yes, so it will remove the file. We can also do a forceful remove by giving rm-f to the file. So there will be no question asked. If you're new to Linux, I'll advise you to keep away from these rm commands for some time. So if I have a file abc.txt, I can simply give cat and the file name and it will show the content of the particular file. Only the last line of that file, you can give tail minus one and the file name. It will show you only the last line. If I want to see the last two line, I'll give tail minus two and the last two lines can be seen. If I want to see the first line, I can give head minus one and the file name. It will show me the first line. Similarly, for the first two line, I can give head minus two. So the next set of commands which we are going to work on is system info. So the system info commands are basically the commands which tells us information regarding the system. So we can type in date to know the current date. Uptime command will let us know the time from which the system is up and the load and the current active users. Woo command will let us know who are all logged in to the system. Who am I will let us know that what is the username to which we have logged in. Cal will give us a calendar 
U name minus A will give us information regarding the kernel. Cat proc CPU info will give us information regarding the CPU. Similarly, cat proc mem info would give us information regarding the memory. DF minus H will give us the information regarding the different disk drives present in the system. Provide us the information about the size, the current usage, and the availability of space in each drives. DU minus SH would give us the usage of the current folder. Top would give us information regarding the current running processes and about the memory information. Now let us look at some of the search based commands on Linux. The first command I'm going to use is find. So find is used to find the location of a particular file. So for example, if I'm looking for a file named abc.txt. So you can see this file has been found using the find command. You can also use regular expression along with this find command. So for example, if I want to see all the text files from the root directory, so you can see all the text files with txt extension have been listed. The next command we are going to learn is grep. What grep does is it looks for the keyword which we try to grep inside the file in which we want to search. So for example, I want to search if there is a keyword named hello in the file abc.txt. So it has returned that there is a keyword named hello. So if I am searching for a keyword which is not present, it will not return anything. Now if I want to exclude the keyword and return everything else from that file, so I can use grep-v. So for example, I am trying to exclude hello and this will print everything except the keyword hello in the file. So the application of grep commands is usually done as a pipe with other commands. So for example, ps-ef is used to know all the processes in the system. So these are the current running processes on the system. So from this, if I want to find a particular process running for mongod, I'll grep with mongod using the pipe command. So this also includes the grep process. So I can exclude the grep process by minus v to grep. So you can see now I have as the result only the process information regarding mongod. To know about any of the commands, there is a manual in Linux. You can simply type man and the command. So for example, if I want to know details to what cp does, I can simply do man cp and it will give me the command and the description usage for the command. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe for more such videos.